Oh yeah. Hey guys, today I'm gonna be telling you how to get your best friend to watch anime. There are a lot of strategies for getting the people close to you to join the dark side. But before we begin, it's important to be clear that some people will just never get into anime. They don't even necessarily hate it, it's just not their thing, and that's okay. I don't think I'll ever be into homework. It's just not really my thing. So you want to get your best friend in the anime, right? It's something you love and you want to share it with them. An admirable goal if I do say so myself, but also a challenge. Hey Orange, want to watch something with me? Oh, yeah, sure. What are we watching? Anime! Uh, oh, is that so? Perhaps I should take care of the garden. You don't even have a garden. Anime series are long and intimidating. Not everyone has time for a thousand episodes of island exploring and pirate kinging. Yes, I just said kinging. It's not a word, but now it is, because I said it. I'm gonna be king of the pirates! I'm kinging! Anime movies are an amazing way to bridge that gap between normie and culture. The Studio Ghibli classics are definitely no-brainers, but in recent years, we've gotten some amazing non-Ghibli movies. A Silent Voice has probably gotten more people into anime than almost any other movie in the last 10 years. Your name was pretty good too, but come on, man. A silent voice. Come on, man. So many new weebs I talked to tell me a silent voice was their first watch. And honestly, if it works, you should work with it. Oh, yeah. One of the things that's most intimidating about anime is how different it is. It's some of the most Japanese stuff out there. If your friend likes sushi or ramen, you can work with that. Exploit their love for Japanese food and talk about how much Naruto loves ramen. They might be willing to give it a chance. Okay, Seth, buy me some yakisoba. Oh, yeah. Mmm, this Japanese ramen is so good. You know what else is good in Japanese? Anime. Perhaps you could try cooking one of those classic Studio Ghibli dishes and serving it to your friend. And when they ask what it is, you show them a clip of Howl's Moving Castle Breakfast, or Totoro Bento, or Spirited Away Buffet! That came together nicely, it all rhymed. Uh, back to the video. This brings us to the topic of subliminal messaging. Anime can be a shocking thing. The moment you see those huge anime eyes, and those iconic anime reaction sounds, <laughs> it's like a completely different universe. And it is. It is a different universe. They're basically aliens. This guy and this guy do not look the same. Your job is to get your friend comfortable with anime, and you can do that by slowly surrounding them with it, but without them realizing. Casually having an anime wallpaper, or even better, sending anime memes that are relatable to normies should over time get them more comfortable with it. This meme is so hilarious. I'm sure Orange would get it. When you open the fridge, happy, and the pizza box is empty, sad. When the pizza... Oh! <laughs> I get it! All according to plan. Another favorite of mine is to find one of those banger anime openings. I'm talking about the good stuff. If you can get an opening stuck in your friend's head, it's a constant, violent reminder that they should watch the show. Are we perhaps overthinking things here? Yes. Are we overanalyzing something that could easily be done just by asking our friend, Hey, I want to show you something. Yes, again. Do I have more strategies? Oh, yeah. Why do people not like anime? We've already said it's weird. We already said it's different. We've already said it's shocking. Well, guess what? Now is a better time than ever to be an anime fan. It's never been more mainstream than it is right now. Back in the day, you had to stick to online forums and horrible social networks to even contact another anime fan. But now, in 2021, your friends will have aesthetic Sailor Moon profile pics. My workout coach is literally an Attack on Titan and My Hero Academia fan. He can deadlift 500 pounds, yet he still finds time to watch anime. Get up! Get up! What I'm saying is you might not even need to convince them to watch it. The world's gonna do it on its own. This is the Wheel of Steins Gate. It's only a matter of time before they accidentally start episode one of Death Note on Netflix and get addicted. Hmm, I didn't know you had an anime, MV Perry. It's not Psyche K. Huh, are you sure about that? He looks just like you. There are two types of friends. Friends and best friends and fake friends. But we're not getting into the fake friends. Today, we are focusing on Best friends. A casual friend, you might have to jump through hoops to convince them to watch some good old Japanese animation. But a best friend? A best friend, you shouldn't even have to watch this video. If you really want to show them an anime, just put on your favorite one and watch it with them. If you can't watch the whole thing, watch some of your favorite parts together. Tell them why you love it and because they care about you, they'll most likely care about it. Come on guys, do I really need to mentor all of you on social interaction? Yes! yes. 
Come on, Orange. Just watch some Psyche K with me. I would, but... But what? But I already watched it! Really? For me? Aww. Why are you supporting the enemy? What did he ever do to you? You'll never know what it's like to be constantly mistaken for another character. Hey, are you Psyche K? No. Can I get an autograph for $60? Well, you got me. I'm Psyche K. About that $60, uh... In the end, even if they can't get into anime, that's okay. It's not for everybody. But this was a ridiculous and somewhat humorous video to give you some tips on how to get your friend into anime. I hope it helped, and comment down below if you have a best friend that you're trying to get into anime. I... I don't know why else you'd watch this video, so... Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name's Evie Perry, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!